Um, I've known Fawad now for a couple of years. Um, I work with Fawad as one of the trusted real estate attorneys that I deal with in the state of New Jersey. He is licensed in New York, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but I think the bulk of the work is in New Jersey, but he obviously has a, a thriving business in New York City as well. And I wanted to bring Fawad on because I wanted to talk about a lot of the changes because everybody's like, they're bringing on certain people regarding real estate, but nobody's really bringing in like, I don't want to say the heavy hitters, but they're not really like diving into really what's going on. So I figured the 12 o'clock show is a perfect example just to dive right in and bring somebody who's a heavy hitter in the industry that understands how real estate works. And obviously, before I could tell you a little bit about himself, where he's been, where he's going, where the market is headed, and we're going to cover five topics today. So sit back, relax, take a deep breath, take a sip of your wine or sandwich or whatever it is, and get, you know, get re- basically get ready to learn and be educated. Go on, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. No, thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Well, I just give some people a little bit of feedback, a little background of who you are and what you stand for. Sure. So um, uh, I'm a I'm, I'm an attorney. I've been uh, I've been an attorney for the past uh, eight years now. Um, I primarily do real estate. Uh, that's that's been the bulk of my business. That's all I do, uh, pretty much from the get go. Um, and a majority of that is also in the investment realm. Um, I, I represent a lot of investors. Uh, we, you know, the investors obviously have unique needs. So, you know, we, we represent a lot of investors in structuring deals for them. Uh, but also we represent a lot of retail buyers as well. Um, um, you know, sort of guide them through the process. A lot of first time home buyers, as well as um, assisting a lot of realtors with their clients, getting deals done, closed. So um, that's real estate is is, 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 is all I do. Um, so that's, that's been my focus for eight years now. And then that's, that's continuing to uh, be what I focus on. So based on the market conditions that we have right now, I know a big topic obviously is COVID-19. Right. Uh, but it really hasn't slowed down the real estate industry. It's just basically almost made it like a funnel and the funnel's getting jammed. And people like yourself, professionals, have to find a different way, a way right now where it's going to work perfectly for the situation that we're in commonly known as, you know, the COVID years. Right, right. What, so, do you, what are you guys, what are you seeing right now as far as the closing? How has it impacted your business? Um, so yeah, I mean, business is still happening. I mean, you know, and anybody in the in the real estate industry knows that it's still going on. It hasn't come to a stop or anything like that. It's just changed a bit. You know, the way we approach things is, is, is different. Um, you know, me as an attorney, uh, you know, there's there there's things that I need to take into account now um, in the in the uh, COVID era. Um, you know, we, we, we put additional language in all of the contracts now to protect our clients, whether you're on the buy side or the sell side, uh, you know, in case of any delays as a result of COVID. Uh, some of the delays, you know, maybe county closures, um, um, not being able to get inspections done, not getting access to the home in time, things are delayed with contractors and so forth. So, you know, um, things that we need to now account for, you know, going into the deal as opposed to, you know, trying to deal with it when it comes up. So we try to head that off now. We put language in to the contracts that you know yeah because of the pandemic going on there may be delays the parties agree ahead of time to sort of cooperate and agree uh, to uh to, to to give each other time and because of things being delayed as a result of covid so um it's just it's just you know being conscious of what's going on and and and, and possible scenarios that may come up as a result of covid and pre- and preparing for that making sure all the expectations are set from the beginning um, now, you know, it, it, realtors and, and clients, the way they're going about things, you know, with the virtual, with virtual uh, showings and, you know, a lot of, um, um, you know, uh, uh, one-on-ones as opposed to, you know, you have open houses, etc. That kind of stuff has changed, obviously. Um, people are doing things differently in that front. And that sort of, you know, boils down to, you know, what everybody's comfort levels are. Um, obviously, everybody's trying to be as safe as possible, but, you know, business still needs to be, uh, business still needs to be done. So the real estate market right now, in my opinion, is forever forever changed. Oh, for sure. And I, you know, anybody that 
and I'm and I, and I bring this up a lot on the lives that I'm doing as far as the technology, uh, the information that's provided for people uh, versus you know just showing up to a closing. So yeah, what are you seeing as far as you know the changes in the real estate market as you personally as an attorney? Sure. So so. In the real estate market, I mean, there's 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 obviously you know people people are adjusting to the new reality. So um, you know, and, and that runs the gamut. Um, I've got I, you know I've got situations where um, you know buyers are a little freaked out about what's going on, um, and, and and they're they're you know either either saying you know maybe it's not a good idea for me to buy, in which case you know you know we, we sort of work with them to sort of you know help them through that process if that's the ultimate decision they want to make. And you got sellers as well, where sellers don't want to lose buyers either because they don't want to get you know stuck with the property with, with the fear that they may not be able to sell it, even though you know from what I'm seeing, transactions are still booming, they're still going. Um, but you know, everybody from what I see is is been a lot more accommodating. Um, people used to take these hard stances, you know, you know, either take it or leave it sort of situations, and now it's sort of softened up, where it's sort of like, all right, you know what, what's it going to take to get this done? Um, you know, so so, and then same thing with the lenders, right? Lenders are changing. Uh, all of their requirements are changing. Lenders are getting new guidelines every single day. You know, buyers that um, um, thought that they had everything sorted now need to provide additional documentation, additional information, and loans are taking a little bit longer to close, but they're still closing. So you know, it's just it's just everybody in the process is just having to sort of you know accommodate and sort of work with each other. And like I said, for the most part, you know, everybody knows what's going on, so so nobody has any issues with. Um, you know, start trying to accommodate um, the, the other person. So at least that's been good. So how has it been dealing with the clients? You know, the seller side, the buyer side, how is it impacting them emotionally with this whole thing going on? Because obviously you're selling a property, you're moving out of a house, right. you're having people that you don't know anyway coming in as far as moving companies. Yeah. So now it has to be very frightening for people to think like, oh my God, are they going to be coming in in like mask suits? Um, what's the process? So how is it really impacting from the buyer side and the seller side from an attorney point of view as far as hearing from other attorneys on the seller or buy side or vice versa? Sure. So, um, yeah, like I said, that's that's a legitimate concern, right? Like if I got sellers and, you know, um, now there's obviously during the real estate closing process, there's 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 things that need to be done, things like inspections and appraisals and, and so forth, which require, um, you know, physical interaction with somebody. Right. So, so you know, if, if I got sellers and they're still living in that house, then, you know, they got they got certain requirements now because they want to protect themselves. Right. Where, you know, all right, fine. If the inspector comes, only the inspector is going to be allowed. They got to wear booties. They got to wear their shoes they got to wear a mask they got to wear gloves um trying to limit exposure and um you know like i said most everybody is being understanding and reasonable of that right so so buyers are understanding of that buyers are understanding that hey we may not be able to go to the house um for the inspection but our inspector you know somebody that we hired and that we trust so whatever they find we are we're, we're trusting that and some inspectors will video conference the buyer just so they can see certain things in the house so everybody is sort of adjusting and accommodating all of the real estate professionals from inspectors to realtors to, you know, attorneys to appraisers. Uh, appraisers, you know, now are, uh, um, will do a, um, their, their, their first off will be a drive-by appraisal. And um, if that, you know, if, if, if the parties decide to dispute that, if, you know, appraisal doesn't come in because they had to get access to the house inside, then, you know, then lenders and appraisal will take it to the next step after that. But the first instance, they'll do a drive-by just to make sure they're not disrupting the homeowners if they're in the house um, by, 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 you know, um, having having somebody, um, having a stranger go through the house and also protecting themselves. So, you know, it's just, it's just, accommodating each other has just really been what it's all about. Um, but, you know, because like at the, at the end of the day, transactions still need to happen. Business still needs to be done. It's just, you know, you got to work around certain things.